everyone, today's video I'm going to be talking about the hottest designer shoe trends of 2021. Now I really enjoyed preparing for this video. As you know, I am a lover of luxury fashion and luxury shoes as well. So if you like that kind of content, do subscribe to my channel. I make fashion videos every single week. So I would love to have you here. I cannot open my Instagram account nowadays without seeing at least one or two of these designer shoe trends on my feed and unsurprisingly all of the shoes in this video are flat shoes. I'm not surprised at all that the designers are still making some flat shoes for us to enjoy during the pandemic and it just makes so much sense. I think these shoes will stick around even though we are getting our freedom fingers crossed very very soon. People are just loving the comfort of luxury fashion these days. So the first pair of designer shoes I'm seeing is by Prada. These are the Prada loafers. They are retailing for 750 euros and they're currently available in black and in white. Now white shoes are getting to be major in 2021 as well. I think we had lots of white boots last year for 2020 and this year that's coming across in the footwear as well, sandals, slides, anything like that. All designers are coming out with white additions. White is one of my favourite colours to wear as well, so I'm very happy about that. I've seen a lot of brands come out with loafers this year and particularly in 2021 as well, one of the key things for loafers is actually a bit of a chunkier heel on the loafer, which Prada has nailed in this scenario. Not necessarily for everyone, as I mentioned, I prefer the flat sort of loafer now in particular this is quite a fashion piece if you do ask me so it's not for everyone but if you like this kind of chic um with you know a pantsuit or nice jeans slouchy jeans and loafers just a really comfortable way of elevating your outfit and i think it works well with a lot of style the next trending shoe is the Valentino Roman Stud Flash. Now this is genius. You will remember back in 2017, 2016, Valentino came out with the Rock Stud shoes and these were so popular. They were a key designer shoe that literally everyone had in their collection and they have so many colors of the rock stud as well so this year they have come out with the roman stud collection it's essentially a chunkier version of the rock stud for the roman stud valentino slip-on shoes they are coming in at 870 euros they also have some slides available and some kitten heel options as well in lots of different colors. And I suspect they will reissue additional colors as well. It's mainly black and white and cream that I've seen on the website at the minute, but I would hope that they are going to issue some nice metallics as well. I think that would be very nice for a summer holiday. I do like these shoes. I think they're nice and they are quite elegant as well, even though, the studs kind of thing isn't necessarily very ladylike. I do like a bit of edge to my outfits as well sometimes. The only thing I would say about the Roman stud collection is sometimes I feel that when designers enhance certain features of their initial designs, it sometimes comes across as a fake then, if you know what I mean. So somebody might think that you are wearing a fake version of the original rock stud shoes which is not really a vibe that i want to get into so that's the only worry sometimes i wish they would just do something completely different altogether but if they do come out with some nice metallics i will definitely be interested 
Okay, the next shoe on the list really has my head spinning. We are looking at Hermes clogs for 2021. Can we just not? I don't know even, I, I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say about these. Like, they're clogs. They're, they're, they're clogs. Like, I, I just can't get past that. Somebody at Hermes said, oh, uh, last year Chanel did the dad sandals and they sold out everywhere. So what can we do now that would be, you know, a throwback that if we throw an Hermes label on it, it will sell out. And some person came up with clogs as a good idea for fashion. Now I know we're getting into the comfort of being at home and working from home and we want flat shoes and all that, but can we just not with the clogs? Like, can we just not, please? If you ever see me wearing clogs, please send help. I had a look on the Hermes website last night and I currently can't see any of the clogs on the website so I can't let you know what the price is but I will update the description box once I find out when they are going to be released. So do check back if you're interested in the clogs and also I did see on the runway they have lots of colours coming out in them as well if you're interested. But as you can probably tell it's definitely a no from me. Moving swiftly on from that the next shoe we're going to talk about is Dior, one of my favourite brands. These are the D-Way slides from Dior and they are 590 euros, one of the cheapest shoes in this short list that I've put together and actually my favourite of all the shoes in this short list video. Dior I love, I just love everything that they come out with because of the fun colours and patterns that they always bring out every single summer. So when they have the bags, they come out in such gorgeous, gorgeous prints and fabrics and colours. And then they decide to add shoes that are matching to the bags. And I am just sold. It's a yes all the way. If I was buying the designer Dior book tote, I would have to get the shoes to match. I would just have to. And they're at that price point that it's still affordable. Like you're always going to be willing to spend the extra five, 600 euros to get the matching shoes. I just love them. Favorite color from this year is the gold color with the white and gold metallic tread running through it. I love that version. So if that is coming back into stock, soon I'm going to have an alert on my phone so that I can get those as well. Before we get to the last pair of shoes in the video make sure you do give the video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying it and comment below what is your favourite designer shoe of 2021. The final shoe that we're going to be looking at is Bottega Veneta and this is coming in at 820 euros for their mules these are coming in in lots of different colours and varieties, in lots of fabrics. They're just so innovative, the Bottega Veneta team. Mules are very much in for 2021 because they have that lower heel as well. They're not six, five inch heels. I think we will levitate more towards a pair of mules when we get out of this lockdown pandemic and they're a little bit more of a casual shoe rather than a five inch heel as well, which is suitable for the daytime as well. I love all the colors that Bottega is coming out with. They're still issuing the shoes with their square toe feature, which was very prominent in 2020 and 2019 as well. So the square toe is still very much in for 2021.
A lot of the Bottega mules have also been released as slides as well so if you don't want the heels mule version you can get yourself a pair of Bottega slides. Bottega is just such a great brand. It's not particularly something that I want to invest in at the minute because I do like the Dior slides much better and as I mentioned in my trending designer bags video I do think that Bottega is a little bit overpriced at the minute so I don't think it's just quite value for money really but it's up to you whatever you like and whatever style you like um, that's just my personal opinion. I will leave a link on screen now to the trending bags of 2021 edition of this video if you're interested in watching that. Thank you so much again for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one.